in conjunction with today's podcast and maybe even starting a podcast, beginning to understand your purpose and these transitions that you may be considering that your identity has been so tied to this one position or, or one job that considering real estate or considering another occupation is causing you a lot of distress. And I really want to give you a lot of freedom here that you can fulfill your purpose and it doesn't have to be that specific thing. Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Syndication Show. I'm your guest host, Brian Pickrell with Vox Balance Media, where we edit and promote podcasts. And today we'll dive into an exciting and surprisingly underutilized medium, podcasting. The topic why you need to consider maybe starting your own podcast. But first, let's look at the rise of podcast. Podcasting isn't new, but its potential seems to be just getting recognized. And as of our last check, there are around 2 million podcasts, a number that's grown exponentially in the past few years. But why? So what, what is fueling this podcast renaissance? Well, much of it concerns accessibility and the audience preferences. You have smartphones and the internet have made producing and distributing podcasts easier than ever. And people seem to love them. Studies show that over 50% of the U.S. population has listened to a podcast with a growing percentage becoming regular listeners. So what is the business benefits of doing a podcast? So what, what does this mean for your business? Well, there's plenty as it turns out. Starting a podcast can bring many benefits from brand awareness to customer engagement to thought leadership. So let's break down a few of these benefits. Firstly, podcasts can boost brand awareness in a big way. Podcasts allow business to speak directly to their audience, providing valuable content, reinforcing brand messaging and values. This helps the company to stand out in a crowded, crowded market. And secondly, podcasts can help build a loyal customer base. So when listeners tune in regularly, they connect with the brand more deeply. This fosters loyalty, leading to repeat customers and brand advocates. Another benefit that podcasts position businesses as thought leaders in their industry. A well-researched, insightful podcast can demonstrate your expertise and give your brand more credibility, attracting new customers and potential partners. Let's look at a few businesses that have successfully implemented podcasting into their strategy, not to mention their real estate syndication show and LifeBridge Capital. One that we can think of is Shopify, for example. They host the Shopify Masters podcast, where successful entrepreneurs share their experiences and tips. And not only does it provide valuable content for its listeners, but it also subtly promotes Shopify as a platform for successful e-commerce. And then there's Work Life. It's a work life podcast by organizational psychologist Adam Grant, sponsored by TED. This show delves into the science of work and how to make work fun. It's a brilliant example of company leveraging podcasting to share valuable insights, but fostering a deeper connection with its audience. Now, something you need to know, there is a right way to podcast. You might wonder, how can I start a successful podcast for my business? Well, there's a few key steps to keep in mind. First, define your target audience and your content strategy. What topics will you cover? How will they align with your brand and appeal to your audience? Second, invest in decent equipment and decent editing software or an editing company like Vox Valen Media because good audio quality is essential in podcasting. Lastly, promote your podcast on various platforms and remember to engage with your listeners. This will help you build a robust and loyal listener base. There are a lot of business benefits, and they're pretty clear. They provide a unique personal way to connect with customers, boost brand awareness, and establish your business as a thought leader. So if you're a business owner or marketer yet to venture into podcasts, now might be the perfect time to start. Now I want to give you five practical steps to start a successful podcast. So let's dive deeper into the practical strategies to kickstart your podcast. 
First, let's reiterate the importance of identifying your target audience. Do a deep dive analysis. Who are they? What are their interests? And how do these overlap with your business's goals and products? Knowing your audience enables you to curate content that resonates with and guides your marketing efforts. Next, plan your content. Remember, your podcast should offer value to your listeners. You might opt for interviews with industry leaders, discussions on trending topics, or an advice-based range. Remembering to brainstorm captivating episode titles, this can significantly impact the number of people who decide to listen. Lastly, pay attention to the power of consistent release schedule. Regularly publishing episodes gives your audience something to look forward to and helps build a loyal listenership over time. You may go ahead and film several and record several episodes before ever launching. Now let's talk about the power of collaboration. Podcasts are a fantastic platform for collaboration. Having guests on your podcast can lead to cross-promotion, reaching new audiences, and growing your listenership. Consider inviting industry leaders, relevant influencers, or customers to share their insights and experiences. This can enrich their content and foster community around your brand. Podcast is also great for B2B. So let's remember the potential of podcasts for B2B businesses. Like B2C businesses, B2B companies can use podcasts to showcase industry expertise, share insights, and build relationships. Moreover, for many B2B businesses, podcasting can be an excellent tool for lead generation. A well-produced podcast can attract potential customers to learn more about your products or services. Now let's think a little bit about the future of podcasting. Honestly, the future of podcasting seems pretty bright. Technology continues to advance, and the appetite for audio content remains strong. As smart speakers become more commonplace, the ease and convenience of consuming podcasts will only increase. And we might also see more hybrid models of podcasting where audio content is combined with video or interactive elements. This could create even more engaging experiences for listeners, providing businesses new ways to connect with their audience. It's clear that podcasting offers vast potential for businesses for expanding brand awareness to building customer loyalty, showcasing expertise to generating leads with thoughtful planning, meaningful content, and a willingness to adapt and grow. And your business could reap the many benefits of podcasting. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of finding your voice and understanding maybe your purpose and content. And a lot of listeners and even a lot of guests that have been on the show have made the transition from uh, maybe a, an eight to four, nine to five job. And they find themselves in, in real estate and, and really trying to find a greater purpose. And, and maybe you sense that calling early on to something. Uh, uh, you went to school for it, you got a degree for it, and you had been serving in that capacity for years. I, I know that's my case. I, I was in full-time ministry for 17 years, and I've been doing that still and consider myself um, a believer in, in finding opportunities to teach and, and preach. But there was sort of a, a crisis, a crossroads that came when I wasn't in full-time ministry, then what is my purpose? And no one understanding that where I'm at and what I'm doing in my job, that does not define my purpose and, and who I am. If you think about it, we're, we're two extremes when it comes to defining our purpose and what it is that we're supposed to be doing. We're either one extreme or the other where we're either under or over viewing, over um, over explaining what we're meant to be doing, whether that's uh, you know, I, I'm meant to help people or I, I'm meant to, uh, you know, just to be a good person or I'm meant to make disciples or we make it so specific that unless we're doing that, we're not fulfilling any purpose. So that could be I'm I'm supposed to be a doctor. I'm supposed to be a teacher. I'm supposed to be an athlete. But what happens when you can't do that anymore? What if you can no longer physically perform surgeries? What if you're no longer able to teach? But what if you don't have that ability to play sports anymore? Do you lose your purpose in life? I think a lot of times we have either tied our purpose so close to a job or a title 
that if we lose that title, then we lose our purpose. I really want to encourage you to think about what is it that defines who you are? What is it that defines maybe your business that you can find yourself that whatever context you're in, whatever vocation you find yourself in, whatever place you find yourself in, that you're still fulfilling a purpose. And as a matter of fact, you're fulfilling your purpose. And so I really believe that is something that's been helpful in in, in my life is sort of narrowing down that whether I am teaching or preaching or full-time ministry or whether I'm uh, designing a logo or talking on a podcast, what is it something that is something that I am going to be continuing doing? And I think that is uh, having that understanding identifying a, a list of things that you're good at. I know this is going to be really awkward and hard for you, but but get a list. Make a list of the things that you're actually really good at and label all of them. List them all out and begin to look for similar patterns and adjectives. And as you begin to, to pull that out, culminate, what are those two words that you can bring this from? If you've heard this before, it's because it comes from Will Mancini's Unique. One of the things that I really got a hold of in this transition was this opportunity to look at who is it that I really am? And I came up with two words and it's called reflecting reality. I really feel like that defines who I am and my purpose. So if I'm teaching, I'm reflecting truth and reflecting reality. If I'm creating something, whether that's through videography or photography or graphic design, I'm taking the element of truth and reflecting it in a way that elevates that so people can see it or hear it or understand it better. So think about in conjunction with today's podcast and maybe even starting a podcast, beginning to understand your purpose and these transitions that you may be considering that your identity has been so tied to this one position or, or one job that considering real estate or considering another occupation is sort of leaving you, it's causing you a lot of distress. And I really want to give you a lot of freedom here that you can fulfill your purpose and it doesn't have to be that specific thing. The cool thing is, um, maybe I'm not in vocational ministry now, I still get the opportunity to minister to people every day. So it's a really cool opportunity to look at the way uh, that we're uh, functioning. And honestly, it could only be a season, but I don't think we ever lose our purpose in and out of seasons. And we just have to understand what season are we in? What stage of life are we in? And who are the people that are around us? And how can we make the most impact with the purpose that we were created to do and to be. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you're inspired to consider podcasting as a part of your business strategy. Remember, your brand's voice has the power to reach out and connect with people on a personal level. So why not let that voice be heard through a podcast? And if you have questions about pricing or all the podcast editing services that we offer at Vox Valens Media, visit voxvalensmedia.com. That's V-O-X. V-A-L-E-N-S media.com or leave us a comment in the section below. Thank you for joining me today on the Real Estate Syndication Show. If you found this episode insightful, share it with a colleague or friend. I'm Brian Pickrell signing off.